Welcome to today's broadcast. No matter what kind of day you are having, please remember that God is big and God is good. He is bigger and better than you think. When my oldest son was in high school, he and two other boys vandalized some school property with paint. Two of us dads got wind of the situation and made our sons confess to the incident and make restitution. The other father wouldn't do so. His son was being considered for acceptance into a very prestigious school, and I assume that he thought such annex if they were made public would jeopardize his son's chances for admission, or maybe just cast a bad light on his name. It seems odd that after all these years, the remembrance of that incident still rubs me raw. I suppose a little unforgiveness may be at work on my part. Two of us dads wanted to instill in our sons the importance of character, but the other dad just wanted to protect the image. I have no idea what happened to his son, but I understand that the irresponsible dad went on to run some large corporation, undoubtedly making more money than me or the other dad could ever dream of. I suppose a little envy may be at work on my part. So where is the justice? Asaph was in that same state of mind when he said, as recorded in Psalm 73, 1 through 12, For I envied the proud when I saw them prosper despite their wickedness. They seem to live such painless lives. Their bodies are so healthy and strong. They don't have troubles like other people. They're not plagued with problems like everyone else. They wear pride like a jeweled necklace and clothe themselves with cruelty. These fat cats have everything their hearts could ever wish for. They scoff and speak only evil. In their pride, they seek to crush others. They boast against the very heavens, and their words strut throughout the earth. And so the people are dismayed and confused, drinking in all their words. What does God know, they ask. Does the Most High even know what's happening? Look at these wicked people enjoying a life of ease while their riches multiply. Asaph wasn't just speaking for himself. He was speaking for each of us. We all have people in our lives that appear to get away with murder. They might be family members. They might be co-workers. Maybe there are people in our social circle. We might not even know them personally, but only know of them, like celebrities, politicians, business people, activists, or anybody else that rubs us raw when we think about what they appear to be getting away with. Obviously, we already know that it would be better for us to say, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing than it is to let them get up to us because we hold them in unforgiveness. And obviously, we already know that it would be better for us to be content with what we have than it is to envy what they have. Knowing what is better, however, is not the same as doing what is better. But doing what is better requires motivation. And where is that motivation? Well, maybe we simply don't realize the lasting effects on our physical bodies from both hating and envying, both at the same time, those people who appear to be getting away with murder. For more, please visit GiveMeThatMountain.org and have a wonderful day.